Hello, I'm Sebastian Miglio, Director of Product Management at Epic Games for Unreal Engine. Today, I'm going to talk about our soon-to-come release, Unreal Engine 4.26, and what it brings to virtual production. Epic started our virtual production journey with the intention of helping filmmakers to make better artistic decisions, redefine what can be achieved in storytelling, and erode the boundaries between production phases. Epic's goal is to ensure Unreal Engine is a go-to platform for virtual production, where features are prioritized for filmmakers while empowering the studio to build even richer tools and workflow for their very special needs. Today, we are very excited to present what we have been working on for virtual production in our upcoming release of Unreal Engine 4.26. 4.26 aims to advance Unreal Engine as a virtual production platform to democratize a far more robust set of in-camera VFX capabilities than any other systems. The time is now for in-camera VFX to cease being an aspirational goal and start becoming a production reality at scale. And to do so, our focus has been on three key areas. First, scaling for large LED volumes by reducing the amount of hardware needed. Then, allowing improved visual fidelity and fast iteration on light changes while remaining interactive. Finally, streamlining on-set operation with simpler setup and easier to use tools. Our primary objective is to give filmmakers and artists the tools to visualize their creative vision with the highest possible fidelity. The next generation virtual production stage enables filmmakers to capture a significant amount of visual effects shots in camera using Unreal Engine to power the surrounding LED screens. These LED volumes are becoming even larger, exceeding 20 meters in diameter and 6 meters high to accommodate large particle set pieces and allow more flexibility for cinematographers. To scale with the stage's growth and the increase of pixel density in the LED panels, we extended N-Display to support multi-GPU. Using NVIDIA NVLink technology in Quadro GPU, the inner frustrum can be entirely rendered on a second GPU, translating to support for 4K resolution with far less hardware required to run the stage. Combined with NVIDIA DLSS, Unreal Engine can boost frame rates and increase content budget for rendering fewer pixels while still delivering high-resolution ray-traced images. One of the main benefits of using Game Engine technology is that it enables real-time lighting changes on stage while allowing final quality imagery. Since LED walls are treated as light panels, Unreal Engine allows DPs to play digital light cards anywhere in the scene with real-time interactive results. And when you need it, Unreal Engine 4.26 brings GPU-based light baking on set, within minutes rather than hours, by leveraging multi-GPU for those who want to maximize quality on lighting fidelity. In addition, 4.26 brings full DMX support to drive practical lighting kits while remaining in sync with the virtual content. Finally, we added OpenColor I.O. in viewport to let you choose the color profile you desire, while being able to ensure color accuracy so that the scene looks the same on the RTX World Station as it does on the wall through the camera. To empower filmmakers to rapidly iterate on new ideas on set, it is critical to keep the stage as collaborative and interactive as possible. Unreal Engine 4.26 is introducing Switchboard, an extensible Python-based application that controls the many systems interacting with the scene and generating data on the virtual production stage. Its goal is to efficiently monitor and orchestrate all of the system and processes spread across multiple stage computers, getting them ready for real-time collaboration within a single click, including tech recorders and the additional performance capture system. On the Mandalorian, we introduce iPad control to allow DPs and directors to adjust the environment directly in the volume without having to call back to the brain bar operators on their workstation. With 4.26, we are completing the release of a true web-based REST API implementation, allowing users to expose any Unreal Engine parameters to applications outside of Unreal Engine. We are also including a customizable web application and library of widgets such as dials, pickers, sliders, and joystick, so that users can deploy the remote control of Unreal Engine on set on their own. Several other features were added to streamline the on-set operation, such as Level snapshot to restore the previous tech while enabling you to pick and choose what to restore. Time data monitor to evaluate the different time code sources and interpolate the correct timing offset so all sources are synchronized. And the stage monitor that connects to all the Unreal Engine session running so you can glean performance stats and detect any itches. Unreal Engine 4.26 is also pushing the boundaries of what can be achieved in Engine for real-time animated content. This release brings amazing features for pipeline integration, performance capture, and all content creators. 
Robust and read engine support of Alembic and USD will enable easier integration into VFX pipeline. We've added several enhancements and features to these formats. For USD, we are close to having all schema supported on every platform, Windows, Linux, and macOS. This includes light sources, previous surface materials, skeletal meshes, blend shapes, and geometry caches, to name a few. Animation recorded into sequencers, such as performance capture, can be exported back to USD. And several enhancements were made to easily export a few E4 content to USD for better support pipeline integration. Unreal Engine 4.26 has on top of regular Alembic imports the ability to stream Alembic directly from disk. Streaming is extremely helpful in situations where you are doing many iterations of an Alembic cache and you don't want to go through the import process over and over. When final images need to be further refined in downstream compositing application, we added the ability to export some render passes using Movie Render Queue. This includes Object ID, Motion Vectors, ZDEP, and many more. For Movie Render Queue, we also added support for professional media codec like Apple ProRes, Avid DNxHR, and 16-bit multi-channel EXR, all with open color I.O. and deadline support for GPU-based form. For performance capture-based workflow, we are proud to announce that a completely new virtual camera system will be released. It offers a vastly improved, production-ready experience for camera work that filmmakers can use out of the box. In addition, the feature set provides a robust collection of developer tools specifically tailored to the cinematography workflow, making it easier for developers to customize, extend, or create virtual cameras. Users with iPad will benefit from a new dedicated virtual camera iOS app with better streaming performance, support for multi-user, and a redesigned user experience. For DIY-style performance capture, the LiveLink XR plugin enables off-the-shelf XR devices like Vive controllers and trackers to be used as LiveLink-based input stream in Unreal Engine, supporting things like virtual camera for performance capture or live camera tracking for live action. And if users eventually move into higher-end solution, the LiveLink workflow will remain the same. Air, fur, and feather in real time has always been a challenge and has often been cheated by using card-based rendering approximations. A year ago, Unreal Engine preview our new hair and fur rendering and simulation feature, bringing the ability to render each individual strand of hair, fur, or feather all in real time. With 4 to 6, the feature is becoming production ready, meaning that hair and fur now supports most Unreal Engine features such as depth of field, level of details, and volumetric form. I won't say anything more as we have a little surprise for you regarding hair and fur today. With a new in engine animation feature, users can now create and modify animation without leaving the engine clean up motion capture, or create new animations on the ground up with control rig and sequencer. The new nonlinear animation tool in sequencer make it easier than ever to stitch together performances. In Fallout 6, control rig moves from experimental to beta, providing riggers and technical animators with the tools they need to create flexible, dynamic, and procedural characters, all with artist-friendly interfaces. Full Python integration allows team to customize and automate complex tasks for any production. The new experimental full-body IK solver makes it easier to create complex and believable character performance in context. The solver can be driven through control rig, and even controls through live link, motion capture, or runtime gameplay by leveraging the new control rig component. For creating realistic outdoor environments, Unreal Engine 426 brings dynamic time-of-day lighting to large landscape. From sky, atmosphere, and cloud, all seamlessly interacting with the sun and weather specification. These new tools provide full artistic freedom and allow you to bend the law of physics. The look doesn't have to be realistic, which is very practical for a cartoony style. Atmospheric effect can be viewed from space and from any time of day and weather. Volumetric clouds can be authored by artists to any shape, for instance, it's tornadoes or a bunny shaped cloud. As you can see, Unreal Engine 426 brings tons of enhancement to virtual production. We're continuing to push the limits of what can be known for real-time in-camera VFX and animated CG content by scaling Unreal Engine to fill larger ready volumes, improving light fidelity while remaining interactive for onset changes, streamlining operation with easier-to-use tools, and adding a new virtual camera for performance capture workflow. And we're also empowering all content creators to deliver even more stunning content and better integration into existing pipeline with support for USD and Alembic streaming, export for render passes and support for professional media codec, and adding new creative tools such as air and fur, animation in sequencer, and realistic environment lighting and weather system. Unreal Engine for Lot 26 is already available in preview. We expect to release it before the end of the year, and we're excited to see the amazing things that you will be able to create with it. 
The Unreal Engine team is very excited to be launching all of the new features in 4.26, and we hope that you are equally excited to use them. 